All right, hello all you crazy people out there. This is Dragonite Spam, and I am making a video game. So, <sighs> yeah, um, uh, some people may know I've been on and off, well, more on than not recently, but I've been working on a video game uh, for the past few years, and it's taken on a lot of different looks, but I think I've settled on this, um, and I think it's finally ready for people to like download a, a small wacky demo and have a look around. Um, this is going to be kind of a Pokemon fan game. Uh, it's going to have mechanics, but it's also going to be, obviously, uh, you're probably noticing now in full 3D, uh, like a first-person game. The reason I did that instead of uh, going with a 2D uh, thing is, one, I kind of wanted a challenge, and two, I want to like experiment with level design in three dimensions rather than two. But nonetheless, uh, it's a Pokemon game. Um, you have your escape menu. You can look at your Pokemon and stuff. That's a flappy. Uh, bag doesn't do anything. Map doesn't do anything. Save. You can save your game, but I don't really want to at the moment. Options, uh, you can set the text speed, you can set the text color, and things like that. And most of these other ones haven't been implemented yet, but they're there. Uh, 360 controller especially I don't think does anything, which is disappointing, but I do want to have uh, support for that eventually. Um, where was I going with that? You can talk to people. Uh, you can uh, you can go and click on them, or you can go and hit E or whatever. Uh, standard, pretty much standard uh, uh, PC game controls. Some of them have useful things to say, most of them don't. Uh, one of them will give you a Pokemon, and this guy up here will actually battle you. Uh, and on that note, this game I think is fairly decent, fairly hard to break, but assuredly there's going to be bugs, um, there's going to be ways to crash the game, and if that ever happens let me know, uh, because I will want to hear about it, I will want to know uh, where, where and uh, how it happened, and hopefully have it fixed by a uh, future uh, update on this. And you can walk on water too, so I guess you're either a Basil Squid or Lizard or a Jesus or something. But yeah, battles especially. Uh, there's a bunch of things. You can lose them, and if you try and fight him again, I think that'll also lock up the game because uh, I, none of your Pokemon are conscious, and that doesn't go very well for Pokemon battling. On the subject of errors, um, if anything does happen, you can take a screenshot with F9, and that will save a screenshot to, uh, to the folder that this game is stored in. You can also go to tab, and you're going to have this menu of gibberish, and that's basically a transcript of everything that's going on inside the game. Uh, you can say, uh, you can enter the dump command, and that will, one, clear the window, and two, uh, save the transcript to a text file that you can send me, so if something goes wrong, you can send it to me, I'll have a look through it, see if I can find the error. Uh, I suppose also, probably worth noting in this menu, I have a bunch of variables and uh, values and stuff like that, but probably most importantly is the frame rate counter at the top. Um, it should be... 30 frames per second consistently, but like I said several times already, on different computers I don't know if it's going to perform better or worse. You could try and force it higher or lower uh, with that command FPS or uh, maybe 25, but 30 should be good. If I can, if I can keep 30 I'll, ha I'll be happy. Um, if I can somehow optimize it to 60 that'll be nice, but I'm not going to count on it. It seems to max out around 45 at least on my computer, but yeah, do keep an eye on that from time to time. <clears throat> um, what else is there? If you want to, for whatever reason, I know nobody's going to want to, but if you want to, forever, for whatever reason, uh, record your own run of this game and post it on the internet, or YouTube or whatever, do make sure that it actually works on your computer first. Just like solder it up, walk around, uh, talk to a person or something like that. Make sure it doesn't mysteriously crash or something. I do know that I did uh, mention something about this on Twitter, and I did provide a download link, but in my infinite wisdom, I did not realize that I didn't include some of the required files the game needs to run, and I don't imagine that ended very well, so uh, things like that. In any case, yeah, uh, you guys are basically my alpha testers. Uh, mess around, run around, talk to people, see if you can break the game. Uh, if you jump enough times, you can like bypass the world and it'll be weird. Um, it, gravity is strange. I should probably fix the jumping mechanic. Uh, some people have expressed interest in uh, actually helping me with this. Uh, I have to say, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, for one, the source code is a hopeless mess, and I'm pretty sure that anybody else diving into it would have, like, I don't know, some sort of uh, aneurysm or whatever. Uh, for two, GameMaker 8 does not provide the best support for working with teams, especially over the internet. But if you've got any, like, better sprites or even 3D models, uh, even. Let me know. I don't want to say I won't be taking ideas for like map design and uh, cutscenes and stuff because depending on the nature of whatever it is, 
uh, integrating it with what, with the uh, like story and mechanics I already have could be difficult, and I don't want this game to look stupider than it already does. But yeah, I think I covered everything I want to talk about here. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a go with this. Uh, there will be a download link in the description. Media Fire, mine ads. Yeah, I'm excited to see what people think about this, and I will see you all later.